morning everyone and welcome to Chickadee Tree Creations here on YouTube. Today I am doing a quick crochet tutorial and I'm starting at the very beginning. My daughter is learning how to crochet in her art class this year and several of her classmates have asked for me to show them again how to do it because you know the teacher's trying to teach so many of them that she can't show them all. So I told them that, you know, since we couldn't all get together in one place, that I would just make a YouTube video and they could pause it and start over as much as they needed to. So, for them and for everyone else who's trying to learn, let's start at the beginning. Today I have a slightly bulky yarn. It's more than worsted weight, but it's got some spring to it, as you can see here. And I got a K-hook. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our, K our yarn. Take your yarn over two stickers so that your tail is down below and your piece that's attached to your ball is coming off the top of your hand. You're going to wrap it around two of your fingers and cross it to the back so you've made like an X. Pinch the X. Then you're going to take the piece in the back here and you're going to cross it over this loose piece. Okay. Sorry, didn't realize I was a frame. You're going to take the loose piece you're going to take your finger and you're going to pull that piece underneath the bottom, flip it over, grab both pieces, and pull. And you have made a slip knot. So now you're going to stick that on your hook, put your finger on it, and pull it tight. Now, you can hold your crochet hook any way you want to to achieve your tension and make it work. I hold mine like this because that's the way my great grandmother taught me. My daughter holds hers like this with a thumb here and winds it around. It works for her. I know people who hold it like a paint, like a paintbrush. I know people who hold it like a spoon. Whatever works for you. But the point of it is that you need to make sure your finger is on that yarn so we can chain. So now we are going to do a chain. We're going to create your foundation chain. I'm going to do about 15 to 20 of them as slowly as I can. I have been crocheting for 20 years. I'm fast. I'll try to slow down. I will try to figure out how to do slow motion too if I can. I'm new at this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail and get it out of the way so you don't accidentally crochet with it. I've done it a few times. You can pinch it in your finger here if you need to or just throw it out to the side. Take your working yarn. Put your finger on the stitch that's on your needle here, hook here, wrong craft. You're going to take your working yarn, you're going to bring it to the back and around. Okay? Around. Ah, come on, turn your tail, get out of the way. I'll just pinch that tail out there out of the way so you can see. Okay. You're going to bring this to the back of your hook and around to the front. You don't have to pull it tight, but just make sure it's not going anywhere. You don't want to yank it down and pull the tension down. See how tight that spring is gone now? You don't want to do that. You just want to pull it just firm enough that it's not going to roll off the thing like that. Just pull it around. Hold it still. Pinch the slip knot. Twist your hook just a little bit to catch that piece of yarn. And you're going to pull it through like that. See? Easy. We're going to do it again a little slower. We'll bring the yarn, working yarn, to the back, pull it over to the front. Hold it firmly, but not tightly. Turn your hook slightly. Catch that piece of working yarn on the end and pull it through the stitch. Okay, let's do that several more times so we can get a long chain. Wrap it around the back. Turn your hook slightly. Catch that piece. Pull it through the stitch. Wrap it around the back. Turn your hook to catch the new, new chain. Pull it through the previous chain. Put your finger back on it. Wrap it around the back. Turn your hook to catch the new stitch. Pull it through the old stitch. Push it up your hook and put your finger on it. Pull your working yarn around the back again. Turn your hook catch the stitch and pull it through. Keep doing that until you have a decent enough length to practice with. For me I like to have about 10 inches or so just to make sure I have enough to hold on to and make a decent 
swatch with. So we're going to continue that to the end. Bring it around the back, catch your new stitch, bring it through. Keep going, you are doing great. When you get to the end of your row, just put your finger on your chain on your stitch and just wait. So those are faster than others. If you're struggling, just pause the video and catch up. But there you go. This is what your chain should look like when you have finished stitch putting on all your chains. Okay? Now, I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to make a new one to teach you how to do a single crochet, double crochet, or a triple crochet. There will be a separate video for each one. When I'll put them in a playlist and you can choose which one you need to try, want to try next, okay? Thank y'all for joining me here on Chickadee Tree Creations this week. I hope you had a wonderful time learning. Crochet is an absolutely fun craft. I've been, as I said, I've been doing it for almost 20 years. My great grandmother taught me when I was like 15, 12, somewhere around there. It's also very therapeutic. For me, when I crochet, I just get myself into working with my hands, working in the stitches, and I tend to just zone out and enjoy things. So, don't let it stress you out. If you find yourself getting stressed out or frustrated with it, you can put it down for a few minutes. You don't have to sit here and try to force yourself through it. Just put it down. Take your time. Pick it up in a couple hours and try again later. Okay? This video is always here for you to look at and for you to use for reference. So once again, thank you for joining me today. Always keep your crafting fun. And remember to please create with reckless abandoning. Life is too short. To worry about things just play and have fun thank you have a great day